Okay, sixth grade, lesson 19. This is on factors and prime numbers, all right? Now, do you remember what a factor is? Uh, the numbers included in a multiplication problem? Yes, very good. So if I said something times something equals 15, what would be some factors of 15? Um, 5 times... Oh, times 3? Three? 3, very good. Okay, so that would just be, these are two factors of 15, yeah. right? Okay, so now we are going to be working with prime numbers. Do you remember what a prime number is? Um, you learned this a long time ago. You may not remember it. No. Okay, a prime number is a number, let me write, let's do the exact definition and then I'll explain it, okay? A prime I remember it, I just do, don't know what it... Or it's, it's a number that has exactly two factors and that's it. For example, five is a prime number because if I ask myself what times what equals five, what would you tell me? One times five. One times five. So it only has two factors, and that's it. You'll never have anything else. The same number and one. Yeah. Okay? Another prime number is two. Why? Because you can only do something times something, and only it's only two times one that equals two. Yeah. Usually, even numbers are not prime because usually two will go into it. But two is an exception of an even number that is prime. Okay. Okay? Every other even number is not prime because two times like something will eat it. And then eat it. Yeah, we'll make it, okay? Okay. All right, so when we're talking about prime numbers, it's basically a number that only has two factors, one and itself. One and itself. Yep. You got it? For example, let's pick 12. What times what equals 12? Uh, Just throw what? out some stuff. Three times four. Three times four equals 12. Uh, two times six. Two times six equals 12. Um, one more. 12 times 1 uh, equals 12. Yeah. Okay, so how many factors does it have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Prime numbers only have 2. And it's always the number 1 in itself. You get it? Yep. So, that's what a prime If you need to write that down, go on and do that. Okay? So, prime numbers are numbers like 5 and 2. 12 is something called a composite number. So write that down. And all numbers are going to be prime or composite except number one. One is considered neither prime nor composite. Okay? Okay. So composite numbers are like 12 where you have several factors. Composite are where you have several factors. You get it? Yep. Prime is where you only have two factors and it's the number itself and one. Okay. Now, let me ask you this real quick, okay? Um, when we're talking about factors, it's basically what will go into a number evenly without remainders, right? So let's take and do the factors of 10. So I'm asking you to tell me the factors of 10. The factors are what we multiply. So tell me the factors of 10. Help me think of uh, something. 1 times 10. 1 times 10. 2 times 5. 2 times 5. There's another one. I don't know. Uh, I think that's it. That is it. Okay, so we would say the factors are 1, 10, 2, and 5. Those are the factors. And you could put them in order if you wanted to. 1, 2, 5, and 10. Kind of makes it simpler for the person that's grading. If I asked you what are the factors of 10, for you to put them down like that. It's, it's very nice to, to be able to grade like that. Okay, now let's talk about the number uh, 15. Is 15 prime or composite? 15 is composite. It is. Why? Because it has more than two factors. So let's try to figure out what those are. Uh, 1 times 15. 1 times 15. What else? Uh, 3 times... 3, three times... 5? Five. 5, yeah. Anything else? Um, I believe that is it. So if I was telling the factors of 15, you would say 1, 3... 5, 15. I put them in order. Okay? Very good. Now, let's do an activity. Okay? And we're going to
talk about number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, and ten. All the way to ten. And we're going to decide which ones are prime numbers and which ones are composite. Okay? Yeah. So one, neither is prime neither. nor composite. So neither. Okay. Two. That's prime. Very good. Three. Uh, prime. Prime. Very good. Because it's only three times one, we're going to three. Very good. Composite. Composite because we have one times four and two times two. So it's composite. Good. Prime. Prime because it's one times four. Or one times five, sorry. Six. Composite. Composite. Why? Because uh, it's one it times has two. six and two times three. Yep. Composite. Seven is prime. Good. Eight. Eight is composite. Okay. Tell me some of the factors. Uh, one times eight, two times four. Very good. So it's composite. Nine. I think that's composite. It nine. is. Yeah. Yeah. It is. One times nine. And, and three, three times, times three. three. Composite. Then ten is composite. One ten is composite. One, one times ten, one times and, ten and, and two times five. Composite. Very good. Okay, so we just did one quick activity. What numbers are prime from 1 to 10? 2, 3, 5, and 7 are the prime numbers from 1 to 10. Okay. You got it? Yep. Okay, now, let me teach you a fun little activity, and it's called prime tree. Prime tree. Okay? Now, for example, I'm going to take the number 12. All right, and we're going to do a factor tree, prime factor tree, okay? Mm -hmm. And what this tree is for is to break down and give us all prime numbers. What I mean by that is start with a tree, okay? Just think of any random, what times what equals 12? Uh, 2 times 6. 2 oh. times 6, yes. Now, you never want to use 1 oh, as your answer. Before. Yes, a long time ago. You never want to use 1 times 12. Okay, because you don't want to use 1 in a factor tree. Never use 1. Okay, so 6 times 2. Is 2 or 6 a prime number? Um, 2 is. 2 is. Circle it. That means you're done with that side of the tree. Then we do another one on yes, 6. Yes, now 6 is your new number to look at. What times what equals 6? Uh, Factors. 1 times 6? No, I can't never use 1. Uh, 2 times 3? 2 times 3. Okay, is this a prime number? Yes. Is this a prime number? Yes. Yes. What you've discovered is the prime factors for 12. So watch what happens. I'm going to put them in order. 2 times 2 times 3. Those are your prime factors. That dot means times. Yeah. Okay, so watch what happens. I take my prime numbers, 2, 2, and 3, and I multiply them, and watch what happens. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is so you always, whenever you get all of your prime numbers, and if you multiply them, you will always get your answer up here. Huh. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So this is called prime factorization. You got it? Let's try 15. Actually, let's try 24. Let's try a bigger number. 24. Think of any random whatever that equals 24. Oh, uh, we can't do one? Not one. Uh, how about five times? Not five. What? Five won't. Because five times eight? I mean, four. Eight times three? Eight times... I thought... What? You're thinking of five or you're thinking of four? Four times six, you're thinking of four. Oh. Four times six. So let's do that. Four yeah, that was it. times six. Okay? okay. Help me out. Four times six. Wait. Okay. Are either one of these prime numbers? Um, no. No, so we have to keep going on both of them. Okay? What is... Four. Think of uh, something four. times something. Uh, Not one, though. Two times two. Two times two. Okay. Is this a prime number? Yep. Yep. We can circle them. That shows that we're done with that side of the tree. Okay. Over here, what equals six? Uh, Two times three. Very good. Okay. Those are both prime numbers. So that ends the tree. So let's, let's multiply. Two, 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 three. Two times two is four. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So you just learned prime factorization. Okay? That is lesson 19.
Wiedziałem.